undeterred by security forces. Participants of Venezuela's resurgent insurrection movement flood the streets of Caracas. It's the first time protesters have demonstrated against Nicolas Maduro's government in months. And they're in it for the long haul. They insist they'll continue protesting until the Venezuelan leader gives up his hold on power. We won't leave the streets until Maduro leaves. We'll do whatever it takes, even destroy everything. We can't take it anymore. We want a free country. We want youth to see how they repress us with tear gas. They are silencing us. Let all the people of Venezuela and other countries know what's happening so that they can intervene to help us. We just want to produce. We don't want to go down the wrong path. The renewed wave of protests has drawn hundreds of thousands of people across Venezuela. It began on Monday after a group of soldiers rose up against Nicolas Maduro. Though the police quickly put an end to the revolt, it empowered anti-government demonstrators. Different from past demonstrations, observers say this round has gathered a more diverse group. Much of the protesting has occurred in working-class neighborhoods of the capital, once bastions of support for Maduro. Further energizing their movement, new opposition leader and head of the National Assembly, Juan Guaido. He declared himself acting president of Venezuela on Wednesday, to the cheers of enthusiastic supporters. We're happy. Our president is Guaido, Juan Guaido, and no one else. He's the only one we recognize. Guaido has promised to oversee the transition to a new government, insisting he has the constitution on his side. But it may not be enough. Guaido will need support from the military, which has thus far refused to back him.